calling himself a doctor and you all should not be rewarding him. Hundreds of people have seen this. He's a rapist. How could you? I wasn't ready to tell the police what happened, let alone the world. What were you thinking? I'm sorry, OK? After what Ali did, the fact they got away with it for so long... Ah, oh, here he is. You're proud of yourself, are you? You know, luckily, I found a number for the photographer who took the video and threatened him with a lawsuit. So he's taking it down? That's great. No, 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 it's not great, Shaq. You publicly accused Ali of a serious crime. He could have gone to the police. I mean, in what world did you think this was the right thing to do? I'm sorry. You know, I just find it amazing how many times you've let this family down now. Stop it! Let's just stop dwelling on it, OK? What's done is done. I'm going to work. What, what if you see him? Well, I don't have a choice. It's my job. All this stuff about meningitis on the... I'm late. So I have to get out of bed this morning. Hey. So, I thought it was about time the four of us hung out together again. And you three patched things up? Put this family feud drama to one side. I'm up for that. I mean, all this stuff of who lives where and who owns what business is to do with our family. It's not us, is it? Uh, we lost our own because of them. Yeah, because I'm the one that single-handedly kicked you out the dog, right? It's called sarcasm. Ladies. Fine. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, too. Good. If that video of Ali and Shaq has taught us anything, that there's too many hideous men in this world for us to be wasting our time fighting amongst each other. I'll tell you what, I'm not on that trip with him now. Oh, that's sad. Are you OK? Yeah, I guess I have to be, well. Sorry, what's... What happened? What, what video are you talking about? Have you not seen it? Shaq publicly accused Ali of... ..violating Mizpah. Oh, that man saved my mum's life. She was literally in shock this morning. Have you heard from her, by the way? Mizpah, I mean. No, why would I have? You're basically the Malik's family. Wouldn't she have said something? Why? Because when someone goes through something traumatic, they're supposed to broadcast it. Guess what? It doesn't work like that. I need to go. What is it? I told you. Something's not right with her. Here's... Miss Bear, are you OK? I've seen the video. It's Ali here. He hasn't come in. The surgical nurse wouldn't stop asking questions about it. I just felt so suffocated. Just stop. Just breathe. Yeah? Just take a minute. Right, are you in the middle of a procedure, is there anything I can do to help? No, thanks. Is this a joke? It's no wonder my boy's in a bad way. Have you seen the state of the people looking after him? Sorry, is there a problem here? She just said she's ran out before giving someone surgery. Right, just calm down. My little boy is in there because I stupidly thought this circus of a hospital were the best place for him. But you're just as clueless and dangerous as I thought you were. I'm going to get changed go home. Yeah, that's it. Run away. Forget accountability. Hey, take it easy. Come on, let's go inside and talk to someone like we said we would. Clearly, the only person that I can trust to take care of my son is me. So, Di, you can just leave. I'm getting him out of here. Oh, hey, here of the moment. Loving your work. Is this entertainment to you? Why, you know, we're on your side. How is Miss Bud doing? I, I tried calling after Don and Marie saw what happened, but she's not calling me back. Shaq, you need to publicly apologise for what you've done to me. Yeah? And why would I do that? Because what you've said is a lie. My life could be ruined. I, I couldn't even go into work today because of the embarrassment. Look, if you don't take back what you've said, I will go to the police and tell them that you physically threatened me. Then we'll see how tough you are when you're behind bars. Come on, I've done way worse than that. I've done nothing more than a slap on me, missing. Besides, you think he's guilty of anything? It's actually teaching you a lesson. Come on. You know what? I am sorry. But only for the embarrassment I'll cause my mum. But you know she's a liar. 
She's let you go your whole life thinking your auntie was your mum. Jack, stay away from him. She's a good woman. Yeah? Well, I'm sorry I ever met her. And not just because of the hassle she's causing me, but because without her, you wouldn't exist. Lisbeth, got a visitor. Imagine me finding out through a video on social media that my son knows his real parentage. I see now. Not only that, he's under the impression he's the product of a rape. Where would he get such an idea? Because you and I both know that's a blatant lie. You should have let me fight him. It's the least he deserves after what he's done. You think Miss Book would have wanted that? You think picking up a GBH charge is going to make this easier for her? You need to get that man out of your mind. People like him don't deserve a millisecond of your thought. Not Ali, not, not Warren. Warren? What's he got to do with any of this? Nothing. Wait, wasn't he arrested for that bluebird thing? Yeah. Yeah, he was. For violating women with intrusive cameras in their homes. Verity. I haven't told a soul, OK? Yeah, but why? Why didn't you say anything? Because there's nothing anyone can do. Come on. Now you're looking after me and talking me down while you're going through something like this. It's OK. Why am I so clueless when it comes to protecting the women that I love? I mean, the women that I care about. Ali was right. Everything would have been better if he and Mum never met and I never existed. No, look, the way I see it is we can beat ourselves up about where we're from or what we've done, what others have put us through, or, or we can decide we're better than that. You're a good person, Shaq, and you don't deserve to feel worthless or ashamed. Neither of us do. Amazing. When our mother died, I got her old computer. I found this. Printed it out. Auntie Asina. What's that? It's your mother's old diary. It covers the time immediately before and after Shaq was conceived. There's no mention of any misconduct or attack or foul play. Simply a girl who couldn't wait to get her hands on a Dr. Ali Shazad. Shaq. Darling. Mum? I know what Miss Be said about how you're brought into the world and about what happened with your biological father. I am urging her to admit that perhaps she got carried away with the details. You think she's lying? I can't believe this. I never lied. I don't mean you. I mean her. You're my mum's sister. You're meant to be on her side. I'm on Shaq's side. Right, that's it. Out. We're not done here. I said out. Sammy, can't you threaten to sue her unless she leaves? Uh, sorry, guys. I need to deal with this. Didn't come here to cause fireworks. Shaq, I cannot imagine what Miss Tall Tale has done to your self confidence, self worth. Being led to believe that you're the product of something so appalling. Come home with me, and we can put all this unpleasantness out of our minds. Miss Blunt is kind, honest, brave, and unlike you, she knows how to look out for her family. I want you to leave. Surprised you want to look at that? Truth be told, it's hardly a page turner. <laughs> I wish I could go back. Tell the young woman who wrote this that the secrets she's hiding, they'll only do more damage in the long run. I wouldn't have blamed you, Shaq, if you'd gone back with Hasina. Left all this behind. Not gonna lie. If she came to me a bit earlier, I might have been tempted. <laughs> Someone made me realize that it doesn't matter where I come from. The point is, I'm here. 
You guys are uh, the only family I need. Well, listen, I've got to go check on a mate. So I'll see you later. Mum, I know I've been distant these last few days, but... Yes, it's OK. I need to say this. It's just... Knowing that my whole life, my mum's been dealing with something so horrific and never said anything. I guess I'm still trying to process it. But I want you to know I'm always here for you. I love you so much. And I think I know how to make things better for everyone. D.S. Cohen. Hey, it's, um, Verity Hutchinson here. I'm not gonna keep you long. But the other day you mentioned I could potentially talk to the others. The other women that were affected by Bluebird. Am I... Am I too late to say yes? Of course not. No, I think it would really help. Great. Another favour. Could I get a copy of the footage from the cameras? I'm not going to watch it, but... I have an idea of what I could do with it. There you go, darling. Oh, someone's been crying. Yeah, has. Come back inside. No. Not until you take back your ridiculous idea. Hey. Listen, I've got some news. Yeah? Well, you're not the only one. Tell him what you told me. I'm leaving. These last few days have shown me how badly this whole Ali situation has affected my family. That's why I kept it secret in the first place. I'm going to go until it all dies down. No, no, Ms. Barr. You can't leave. I've already booked my train ticket. No, I... I got an email from someone. Someone who saw the video of Ali and Shaq. Now, I couldn't tell if it was genuine or not, so I had to make a few calls and... Who was it? Her name's Gina. She says she's another victim of Ali's. Well, you know what this means, right? With your evidence and hers, we can finally have what we need to take Ali down. You have to stay. <laughs> 